Hey. I'm going to continue on showing you now the properties of Lincoln Longwall. Remember last week we met Brad, our local Lincoln Longwall breeder. This is his fleece that I picked up off him last week. This is absolutely gorgeous. Lincoln Longwall. Now this is actually lamb's wool, believe it or not. Probably about mm, six months clip. And as you can see, it's already around 20, 25 centimeters long. Lustrous, strong, and coarse. Probably around about 52 micron. So, I was going to sort of show you a few things that you can do with Lincoln to highlight its properties. Here I have washed and combed uh, using a drum cutter some Lincoln. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's not a real white colour, but it's certainly a lustrous off-white. You can see the properties there. The crimp is still there, which is what I wanted because I like to capture that crimp in my yarn. So that's in a hand spun. It actually felts very well as well. Although I have found uh, better results if I blend. Here is a blended bat with some standard um, crossbred Merino Cross with some Lincoln, as you can see. You can see the properties of the absolute shininess there in the crimp. Lincoln long wool takes up dye. Absolutely beautiful. It uh, captures any colour. It's fantastic when you're mixing colours. And you get this beautiful sheen. So that is a nice component to take into consideration when designing with Lincoln long wool in a yarn or a felt, particularly if you're blending. So what I've done recently, or about 18 months ago, I buy the wool off the farmers. Well, before they used to give it to me, and now I pay their shearer. And I hope to eventually establish a good market for their wool in order to give them some profit. So we keep these breeds in Australia. I had an idea to have it commercially spun. This is Linwasi. I call it Linwasi. It's Lincoln Long Wool blended. I wish that chicken would be quiet. With Awasi. Now, Awasi, A W A S S I, is a Middle Eastern fat tail sheep. Extraordinary looking sheep with a Roman nose and long ears, very shaggy. It has a double coat, this long, coarse coat with a beautiful, soft undercoat. Now, over the, hopefully very shortly, I will get to introduce these sheep with another local breeder. So I will check in and see if I can do that. So I took both Awasi and Lincoln and turned it into this beautiful yarn, Linwasi. Here it is dyed. It takes up, it's got the properties of the Lincoln dye properties. So it takes up dye absolutely magnificent. And the Awasi combined with the Lincoln gives you absolute strength. Strength for homewares. Bags, crocheted bags, homewares. You can just pop this in the washing machine on any cycle. It doesn't stretch. It has some give, some bounce, but it does not stretch or sag. So it is a very, very good um, quality yarn. Just the last two days, I went to a South American backstrap workshop. So now I'm going to utilize the Linwasi in warp faced weaving. So I'll give you a look at that soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.